I mean, the, this type of coffer or chest, the original shape is called an arc. Um, and these were originally um, were taken off. They had loose hinges, and people would knead dough in them. Oh. Which is extraordinary. That's why it's that shape. It's not for getting the extra blanket or the oh. extra piece of linen in it. It's actually for kneading dough. Right. It's right. so incredibly domestic. You wouldn't yes. believe it, would you? What a great shape that is, though. Where, where does it come from? It comes from Holland, and it was bought by my husband's aunt in Rotterdam in the late 60s. Right. And actually bought in a Rotterdam shop. Yes. I wonder if it's a little bit more north than that. There's something about uh -huh. the way these legs stick out that make, reminds me of that sort of sledge-type furniture that was often oh. in Friesland in sort of yes. northern Denmark. Uh, again, what date is it? I have no idea. Not going to hazard I have a guess. no idea. No. It's, well, between about 1620, 1640. Goodness. And what I Gosh. think is fascinating is when you look at this decoration, I mean, all this is fairly typical. English and Dutch, North European furniture has a lot of cross-similarities at this time. I love these arches, but it's unusual to get them sticking out like this. There's a little, the, the, where the, the top arch sits on the, on the pilaster, on the column mm. here. And the fact that this is 350, 400 years old, and some of these are still intact. But it's got some, a, a lovely charm about it. And it's got a colour which you don't often see on English oak. Mm -hmm. So it's a family piece. And it's been, what, since the 60s? Yes, yes. Is it a highly prized value uh, it's, piece? It's very loved in our family, yes. What, how much did you pay in guilders for it in the 60s, we, do you know? I don't know in the 60s. We paid my husband's aunt a 1,000 guilders for it. It's about £300 we paid her that for it. That seems quite a reasonable price for a good piece of 400-year-old furniture, <laughs> doesn't it? How long That's ago was that? That's what she asked. We paid for it about five years ago, six That's years ago. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's what so, she asked for it, so... Well, I think, you know, winning buyer, winning seller within the family, I think you should get a good discount. Well, that's a pretty good discount <laughs> because, well, you paid £300. I think you'd have to pay £3,000 today. Goodness. OK. <laughs> right, to write them a cheque, I think. <laughs> This is wonderful because it's a, a really good example of how something that was very, very cheap to make and cheap to buy originally, made of plastic yeah. in the 1920s, it mid -1920s. It is, it is plastic. It is plastic, it? yes. yes. Uh, is actually becoming quite sought after and quite valuable today. It's made to simulate tortoiseshell. You can see the spider in the web here. It's a lady's dressing compact, if you like. And if we open it up, we can see her... Uh, powder puffs and her lipstick inside, and this is simulated ivory. It is a, all plastic. Where did you get it from? My wife was given it by her friend of her mother's who hadn't got any daughters and wanted my wife to have it. Well, uh, these days they are very, very collectible, and something like this would probably sell at auction for between three and four hundred pounds. Oh, as much as that? Oh, she will be delighted, absolutely. You know, this, this takes me back to a, a, a show we did in Plymouth last year because this is such a famous historic occasion, but relatively little known. Um, Napoleon surrenders to the captain of HMS Bellerophon in 1815 after the Battle of Waterloo. Tell me the rest of the story. And then... My ancestor, H.P. Dickin, was a young lieutenant on board HMS Bellerophon. And according to the Navy list, he was a master's mate. Uh, I suppose that's like ADC. And when, subsequently, when the ship was scrapped some years later, the captain presented a Lieutenant Dickin uh, with chairs made from the, sh the timbers of the ship. Really? So, um, and, and there's one of the chairs? Yeah, and it says on the back here, uh, these chairs were made from the timbers of HMS Bellerophon, uh, upon which Napoleon I of France surrendered in the Basque Roads in 1815. Wonderful. I mean, it's, it's one of the best uh, pieces of provenance you could possibly have, isn't it? You can't be questioned.